And as for Jim Acosta, he is one of those people, one of those journalists who live on the credit of better reporters while spending his skills advancing an agenda over truth. He blames the people he underserves while masquerading as a victim in the hopes that maybe CNN will make room for him in their primetime lineup. If only America was as infatuated with Jim Acosta as Jim Acosta is with Jim Acosta, maybe he should have his own press conference where he can regale the country with questions about himself. People like Jim Acosta taint the entire profession. The people that I feel the worst for are those who are entering into journalism with a desire to showcase the stories of their communities, the people who want to shed light on truth that others want to cover, the people who are motivated to serve by informing. They are out there. They are of late the exception, not the rule. But because they don't dabble in sensationalism or platitudes, they don't get the TV slots. They don't get the network promotion of their work. Reporters like Ronan Farrow, whose first expose was swept under the rug by his NBC bosses, comes to mind. But most of them don't have that name recognition. They're lesser known. Their talents and dedication aren't as noticed, but are ever more appreciated, especially now. You know, I've never viewed the press as the enemy of the people. But there are many in the press who need to affirm that the people are not the enemy of the press. Stop reporting on us as though we are an enemy. Instead of the legacy media asking this question, it's time for the people to ask this question. We would like an answer. Are we your enemy?